Hi, Making Bone Gang. Vinny here, and welcome to Pelican Bone Outdoors. So we're out here at the Bonnie Carey Spillway, not far from New Orleans. What this is is when the Mississippi River gets so daggum high, and they're worried about the levees breaking. To save New Orleans and a couple of surrounding areas, they open up the spillway and water just rushes through here into Lake Pontchartrain. Even when the river's high and they don't open it, it's the 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 the, 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 the spillway is just a, a bunch of boards and there's little cracks through it and uh, water will flow through here. But right now the river's low, so that's not happening. But this is round two of us trying to catch one of them ginormous alligator gar. And I'm already seeing, I mean, I don't know if you can see them ripples down there, but there's ripples all over then seen a bunch of biggins uh slapping the top of the water so already it's looking better than uh the last go around when we didn't get anything but today got some mullet that we're going to start off with bait since i'm not sure if we're going to be able to get any carp around here i've heard tell there's carp over there trapped in them little uh ponds that 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 stay once the water goes down yeah so i'm gonna get this in the water and uh we're gonna try and catch one of them dinosaurs let me get this thing cleared off Well, all right, so we'll get these mullet chopped up and we're gonna get these rods out here. Same setup as I had the last video. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link in the description for uh, for that. Uh, yeah, give me that. We're gonna shove it right through his head, I guess. Yeah, that's on there. And we got a treble hook up here. Two different kind of hooks. Not sure what's gonna work best. I've seen people do it both ways. Woo! You have got to not hit that high power power line. Cause that would not be good. All right, watch yourself. Watch yourself, watch it now. Here I come. Should I do that running throw like you see in the uh? That is awfully close to that power line. That was, should I put a cork on there? I'm gonna put a cork on the other one. Loosen up this drag so they can take it freely. Cause one of y'all told me that if they feel any weight on it, they're not gonna. They're not going to take it and eat it. They're going to drop it. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a caulk on this one. Make sure we're good and floating in case them, uh, I mean, they're hitting the top of the water. So, I mean, in theory. So, mull it on that one. Cut the head on that one. Now we're going to put the tail on the lower one on this one. Switching it up just to see what works. I guess we'll toss this one towards the sun. This is not exactly the heavy duty of a rod. So, now I go. And this is my favorite one because this one's got that little click so you can just it'll let me know when they're taking it of course the cork should do that but i don't even see the cork did the cork go under i think so no it's floating oh i think it's floating well here let me reel it in i want to be able to see it the sun is blinding blind oh yeah i see it okay we're good we're good where's the button there it is man it's hot already oh my sunglasses go man come on garfish don't let me down today Ah, oh, I done grabbed the line with it. Son of a biscuit. I had to recast that one. I didn't like what that was anyway. Ooh, turn that off. Let's see if we got, still got the bait on there. Oh Lord, oh Lord, we all tangled up. Oh my, oh my word, look at what the heck is going on here. Holy Jesus. Uh, what a predicament. Dang. I don't think I'm getting that out. Might have to just cut and start over. All right, here we go. Got it all rigged back up. And here she goes. Oh, I forgot the cork. Thank you, dear Dean. All right, let's try that again. This time with feeling. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's the stuff. It's so hot. So as I said in the last video, and. The last five videos still hot i think we're on day four or five with three digit temperatures still not used to it so i'm not 100 percent sure that uh garfish like uh mullet do you know if they like mullet i have no idea i know cut bait is what you use well it's cut mullet yeah so it's cut bait bait so anyway but i'm pretty sure pretty sure they uh like perch even though i haven't asked them and i don't have any worms so i'm gonna go ahead and break off one of these little sockelet baits it's a little little skirt little little dangle thing right there because they got some bluegill over here and i'm fairly certain we can get one to bite if uh if they're aggressive enough and no frank we need some worms frank oh they're looking at it you know i have a cast net but i don't think it's legal to take perch in a cast net not sure well we're not going to chance to test that theory today oh 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 we got something going we got something moving 
Just let him take it. Just let him take it. Oh, it's not, okay. I might take the click off so he don't feel nothing. Oh yeah, baby, it's moving. It's moving. We're gonna let him take it. Take what you want. Take what you want. There you go. Just take it. Take it. Take it where you want it, baby. Just don't take too much, cause uh, <laughs> I ain't got a tunnel on on there. Uh oh, he stopped moving. Oh, no, you're going. He's still moving. Let it eat it for a little bit. I don't know when I should set the hook. Because according to what they say on the internet, they like to take it a, a little ways before they start eating it. All right, we're about to set the hook. Let's see. Still going with it? Oh, I don't think there's nothing on there now. Oh, come on. Yeah. Well, at least that was some excitement. Oh man, we got a little tangleage going on here. I don't know, I don't even see any teeth marks in there. Huh. Huh. Watch it, it's just been a crab. <laughs> kind of like sighted a little crab swimming off with it. All right, well, ain't nothing to do but get it on back out there. See if we can bop Dean in the head with it. Boom. How's the water feel? Ah, oh, got the daggum line again. <laughs> what an idiot. All right, let's see if I can uh, not make this all jumbled up this time. Man, what a cool yon. Oh, and then it's a whopper popper, so it's all wrapped around a hundred times. Boy, look at that. That perch is aggressive, dude. He's chasing the he's chasing the whopper popper. He ain't even as big as the whopper popper. Oh, I got beef jerky. I wanted to eat beef jerky. Well, let's see. I got a little piece of sausage from yeah. Frank's uh, Frank's gas station pizza. So we're gonna see if we can't catch a perch up in here. Bloop. See if they'll eat that. And nothing. Oh, there we go. We got bluegill biting. He's trying, he's picking at it. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Oh, oh, he stole it. You little sucker. Oh, wait, do we have something? No. Oh, yep. I think one's moving. One's moving. Gravity, one's right? moving. One's moving. Which one? I don't know yet. It's the one with the cork. It's the red, yeah. Do you see the cork anymore? No. All right, we're moving now. We're moving. You taking it, baby. You do what you gotta do. You do what you gotta do. Still taking it. I don't know when to set it. We're about to set it, though. There we go. There we go. Oh, come on. Ah, crap. Up oh, there's the cork again. He's still, he was out there. All right, bait's still on there. I'm just going to leave it right where it sits. Dang it. Well, this is more excitement than I had at the last stop. Last time I uh, felt some bumps and moved a little bit, and that was it. Now they're actually taking it, so I just gotta stop sucking and uh, we might get one. Pick my rods up before they break. Oh. Yes! Look at me! Look at Frank! Look at Frank! You the man, Frank? Oh, that's a pretty one, too. I'm gonna hate to use you as bait. That's one of them long ears, sunfish. Got pretty there. The first time I caught one, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a sickle. <laughs> Sorry for you, buddy. You're, uh, you're, you're about to be bait. You want me to reel that in for you? Yeah, here, reel this in for me. Hold on, I might have another one. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Nope, too late. Oh, oh, too late catching it. Oh, no, he's about to release himself. Get over here. Maybe I should put a cork on this one, too, because that one's getting bit twice. This one hasn't gotten bit. Might even catch a goujon with this live perch. Be nice. So Frank uh, waited till about three minutes before we all had heat stroke to say, hey, we can go out in this spot underneath the I-10 overpass, get a little shade. It's gonna be a little noisy though, but uh, you know, we're gonna make it work. But I already seen a carp right there where we're gonna be fishing. So that's a good sign. Might be able to get a carp and then get the gar fish like we've been trying to do for so long now. Oh, right over him. You suck again! 
can't. What was that? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> really, bro? <laughs> I tell you what, it ain't one thing, it's another. Got the sun facing one way, the wind blowing the other. Uh, how you work these things? Hold on. How do you? I don't. I don't want to break it. Okay, there we go. That's half of it. All right. Now the question is, do we? Oh, <laughs> take the whole bench with it. Wait, where'd my cork go? Is something okay. happening? Oh. Got excited for nothing. Try that. That's one. Uh, I guess we ought to tie it or not. I might have to give up this goldfish uh, expedition. But not yet. Dude, there's bubbling down there. Like, what's bubbling? We got a gas leak? What's going on? I'm scared to pull up this crab net. Ain't nothing on the crab net, but it's still bubbling. I mean, it's steady bubbling. I don't think it's us. Oh, it stopped. Nope, there it goes. I don't think you should light a match. Ain't no telling what that was. Watch something grab it and just take it out of my hand. Uh oh, wait, the cork's under. Right underneath the surface, still. It's moving, hold this. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I see, it's still right under the surface. I don't know if I should set the hook or not. Oh, I came up. Let's see if there's anything on it still. Nope, they got it off. Dang it. Waited too long. Well, that makes me feel a little better. At least something's chewing on something. All right, buddy. There's more where that came from. Come and get it. Well, maybe we need an extra string on that because uh, only half of it did it this time. <laughs> oh, there it goes. All right, we're setting the hook this time. Here we go. Get up in there. I don't see it. We're setting the hook this time because as soon as it gets a little tight. You're going with it, you're going with it. Oh crap, we hung up on something. Here we go. Oh, I ripped it right out of his mouth. No, it broke off. No, it didn't. He got it though. God dog it. We get closer. I wonder if I should get a bigger hook on here. You think? Probably. Oh, look, it bent the hook. Yeah, it's Oh yeah. All right. Hold on, I thought. I'm gonna go get a uh, bigger treble hook. I got bigger treble hooks. Hey, you wanna go take a at your car? Huh? You wanna go shoot at him? Yeah, hold the bench down. If a fish, if one of the fish's poles take off, I don't know, just yell at me. I see him right there. Man, if I miss this fish, it's gonna jack up my arrow. Ah! Oh, whale! Look at the goldfish right there. Man, that one would have been big enough to eat. Yeah, it needs a few repairs or needs to be thrown in the garbage. But this one I like to throw to make sure there's no snags before I pull out a, my good one. Oh. Yeah, that's it for this cast net. Oh, oh come on! Oh, we got the rope. All you got is a swivel. <laughs> oh, man, I was hoping to get some of it back for the, the lead weights. Oh, 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 oh. What? What? What am I missing? This one took it. This one's gone. Pull the bench down. Pull the bench down. It, it, it's gone. I'll have to go under. Oh, we on. We on. It's, it's on, on, baby. No, no. What? Ah, it's hooked. It's my hook. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hang on. Oh. And he spit it after you set the hook. Yeah, he was on there. Oh, so close. All right, well, I jumped back in the Jeep for one, so you can hear me. Two, so I can cool off. And three, 
to tell you that strike two didn't end up landing a garfish. However, we got them hooked this time. A couple of them took off with it, but I think my problem is the hooks. I didn't look at it. One of the uh, ones we had hooked, the treble hook had bent, and then that last one that wrapped around me that I, I mean, almost had him. Hook was bent. So it means when I first set it, he was on there, and when I started reeling it, it started open it up pop right out of his mouth we didn't get it so let me know in the comments below if you guys know how to do this what hooks you use give me the name brand the size everything we got to get this nailed down man this is this is this is getting a bit ridiculous but that's gonna wrap it up for this one folks we're gonna figure it out thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like it and even if you don't it'd still be cool if you hit that thumbs up button but subscribe if you haven't and i'll catch you on the next one yeah that's good